Your home for our Atlanta Falcons, Hawks, and Atlanta United. Your teams play here. Sports Radio 92.9, the game. Shooters shoot. And the guy that's on the line right now with us shoots. Sadiq yeah. Bay from our Atlanta Hawks joins us. Sadiq, man, what's going on with you, brother? How are you? Yeah, I'm doing well. Appreciate it for having me. Thank you. No, thank you, man. Uh, last night, preseason game at the crib at home. You guys are able to to win against Cleveland. But I, I want to talk about the work because that's what it's about in the preseason. How did you feel about the way things uh, went last night? And I heard you say, you know, you feel like you guys are sharing the ball. Um, and that's kind of been that way since camp started. Talk about that. Yeah, for sure. I think we, um, you know, try to, it was our first time playing against somebody else, you know, for all summer and stuff like that. So, you know, we had a lot of um, excitement. So, you know, that's going to lead to, you know, trying to find us uh, to build a rhythm. Uh, so for us, we're just trying to find that rhythm. And that's what we're using these games for. Um, but everybody's locked in. You know, everybody wants to, you know, win. Uh, so we're just trying to figure out, you know, how to do that collectively, consistently. Uh, so, you know, it's been it's been exciting. If we can just get you to go for like 50 a night, Sadiq, I think we're going to be okay. It's our man, Sadiq Bay, who, by the way, Carl, 15 points. You were killing it. We were at the game three against the Celtics last year. I mean, this last season in the playoffs, three for three from three point range. How much do you think that it helps this team to have, and for a, guy, a younger guy like you to have that playoff experience? Uh, I think it's uh, great. You know, my first time being, you know, in the playoffs and, um, you know, just being able to learn and, and see, you know, uh, that type of basketball and, um, just ready, you know, for me, just trying to be ready and be being ready at all times. So for me, it's, uh, you know, whatever the team needs, you know, I'm ready to do it. I ask this question all the time, Sadiq, to guys, what did you do this offseason? So you're a scorer, you're a shooter. What did you do to improve your game uh, if you did work on something specific? And I'm curious to know what what Q told you. What, what did Quinn, Coach Quinn tell you about what he expects from you? Um. You know, they know, they, you know, continue to have my work ethic uh, like they know that I have. So, um, you know, I've always, you know, just stayed in the gym, uh, work my body, mind, spirit, soul, you know, everything. So for me, you know, for talking to Coach, he, um, you know, they didn't say anything specific, but just, you know, what, I just know what the um, the game plan and, and the system that he likes to run on both ends of the floor. So for me, it's just, I'm just being ready, sharpening every part of my skills and my body, mind. I'll just be ready for, you know, whatever he needs from me. Um, you know, so like I said before, you know, we're using these games and practices, you know, to to figure out, you know, what, you know, everybody's role is. So uh, for me, um, the all summer has just, just been prepared uh, for whatever you know, the team needs. It is Sadiq Bay with us, guys, on Dukes and Bell here on the WaitFor.com hotline. For those who don't know, Carl Sadiq's basketball pedigree is like top notch from DeMatha High all the way to Villanova playing for Jay Wright. So, as, as Carl just asked you about coach, is coach a great communicator? Is he a laid back kind of dude? Because it seems like we're expecting him to really come up with some magic this year with some of the younger players, too. Yeah, for sure. He's like a basketball savant. That's what I would say. He's very. Um... He's laid laid back, but he's on on the court. Not really, you know. He's very very amped, very excited, um, and um, he has a lot a lot a lot to offer to the team and a lot to offer to the game. So, you know, he's definitely already proven himself in this league for so long. Um, so it's just great to be able to learn from him, be coached by him, and um, his energy is is infectious. So it, uh, everybody on the team is just you know ready for the season. We're talking to some deep Bay guys here on Sports Radio 92.9 The Game. Talk to us about Trey and DeJounte. Uh, you know, this offseason, a lot of conversation about those two guys and, and uh, you know, what it is like as far as being around them and where you feel like, you know, this camaraderie and this this playing together thing. Uh, are they driving that bus? Is it everybody? How, where is that coming from? I think everybody. I think all of us, um, you know, want, want to win, including them. Um, you know, they – uh, we're doing a good job of leading um, and, and, you know, making it known that, it, you know, that for us to win, we have to all play together and, um, you know, be unselfish and stuff like that, which everybody's been doing the entire summer. So, um, you know, the John Tate trade, they've been, you know, great leaders for us. Um, and everybody on the team is just, just locked in and, and buying into uh, winning. So uh, whatever it takes. 
Yeah, man, what about defense? I mean, that's, I guess, one thing, certainly in the playoffs, you got to have it. I mean, it's not fun. Carl, nobody likes playing defense. <laughs> but you think we're going to be a little bit better defensively this year? Oh, yeah, for sure. That's, you know, for training camp, that was really <laughs> mostly what we did, is the defense, you know, and um, mm. everybody's just locked in on that end. Uh, we've been focusing on it. Um, you know, you know, for us to win, we have to be one of the best defensive teams in the league. So, um, you know, the offense is going to take care of itself if we get stopped. So, for us, that's what we've been locked in for. Sadiq, who surprised you, man, at camp? Like, who came in and maybe was bowling better or maybe it was unexpected? I mean, was it was it AJ? Was it Okongwu? I mean, was it Kobe? Anybody, like, you're, like, in the gym and you realize, okay, he's better than I thought he was or maybe he's bringing a little bit more than what I expected? Uh, that's a good question, man. I'm I'm very uh, I don't know. Man. I, I I would say to my teammates, man, I'm very loyal to my teammates. So for me, man, I think every player, I feel like every player, to me, from from across the board, is underrated. So uh, I'm not surprised by anybody. Uh, from our rookies to you know our, our vets, uh, everybody came in this summer. We, we played runs or we you know had pick up. Everybody had their day where you know they were lighting it up. So mm. uh, for me, I, I, I would say, you know, all the way from our rookie star vets, you know, everybody's hoping. Nobody surprised me because, you know, I'm I'm a basketball junkie. So I, I know a lot mm. of every player and everybody played well, man. So, you know, it was great to see. So you weren't out there, like, giving it to them and then be like, you can't handle me. You weren't out there doing that? <laughs> <laughs> no? That yeah, one you? Whatever happens – that was between the last day in the line. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> hey, man. It is a Sadiq Bay with us. We got him from the Pistons last year. And, again, we love his game. And, uh, again, hopefully he's only 24, Carl. So, Sadiq, man, again, if, if you uh, and, and, and you fit in this system the way you describe it, it's going to be it's gonna be a lot of fun for Hawks fans. We were talking a lot this season about winning time. I don't know if you got to watch any of that on HBO about the document of the Lakers. Who's playing you? Who's playing Trey? We're going to make a movie of the Hawks. Who's playing me? Yeah, uh, that's a good. That's a good question. Uh, <laughs> about to make, make a movie. Yeah, my favorite actor of all time is Will, man. So I give it to Will Smith, man. <laughs> he could do it. That's funny. <laughs> he could pull it yeah, off. Well, you know, again, Will Will's okay because he played Ali. That's not a bad call, Carl. No, I, no doubt he can <laughs> he can pull it off. Hey, I want to ask you about these trades, man, and and, and teams in the East. I know you. You said you're a savant. I mean, you're a junkie. So you're watching all this mm. stuff, right? We, you see Dame going to the yep. Bucks. Mm -hmm. uh, you see what the Celtics do. They get Drew Holiday. What are your thoughts on the Bucks and the Celtics getting better with the trades that they've made? And and when those deals went mm. down, what were you thinking as a as a ball player, just an observer? Yeah, man, that's the excitement, man. That's, that's what the the league's all about. Uh, the East. You know, just keep continue to get better. Um, you know, for me, it's just I'm excited, man. You know, you want to be the best, you got to be the best. So, uh, for me, it's it's um, you know just excited to be able to play against, you know, just a caliber of talent um, and be able to show showcase what we can do as well. Uh, so for me, it's just uh, I think it's good for the league, man. It's good to know that it's so spread out. It's a lot. It's everybody, you know, is good in their own way. Uh, so, you know, when I saw that, it's just, you know, get ready. You know, I'm, you know, just just always confident in my guys, and I'm just excited to be able to play against them. And, Sadiq, this year we got a new wrinkle in addition to everything Carl's talking about, the East getting better. We got the play. We have this in-season tournament. I guess it's kind of uncharted territory. It's new ground for everybody. How you approach that? Uh, man, every game, all 82 in the regular season uh, is, is important, you know, for me. And mm -hmm. first of all, it's a blessing to be out there. Uh, you know, it's some, you know, I've always wanted to do my entire life. So um, every game, I don't take not one for granted. And then two, it's like it's an incentive. You know, there's a trophy to go get. It's a, it's a champion. You know, it's a, it's a title that you can win. Uh, so you know, at the end of the day, we're all competitors. Um, you know, so when you know when that clock hits, we want to win. So. Uh, it's an incentive for every game, no matter what. Doesn't sound like he'll be taking any off nights to me, Mike. <laughs> Sounds like, like Sadiq Bay will be yeah. <laughs> will be playing every night. <laughs> right on. No hey. load management for Sadiq. I yeah, like it. I like yeah. it. Hey, man, we appreciate you stopping by. Uh, we're excited about the season and seeing what you guys are able to do, Sadiq. We're, we're fans, man. We know you like to pull and shoot that thing. So we're looking forward to seeing you do it out there with the Hawks, man. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, Appreciate have a good one. You yeah, it. man, you too. You too.
Yeah, Carl, I did the math before Sadiq's uh, interview. If he can do like that 51-point game like he had against the Magic, you know, a couple years back, yeah. that, that would be good. That would be really he good was, for us. He was in Detroit when that happened, right? Right. Yeah, right, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, yeah, we know he is a score. And, and what's crazy mm -hmm. is, if you guys heard him say this, he said most of the things we worked on at camp were defensively related. I hope so. Mike, we, we we can score with the best of them. Guys, we, we're putting up 118, but we're giving up 128. Like, we, we cannot right. do that and think we're going to do anything in the playoffs. We've got to be fundamentally sound. I think with Clinton and, and Okongwu, Mike, in the middle, you said you want to see how those guys patrol the lane and what's going to happen. Right. Um, you know, we forgot we picked up uh, Bruno Fernando. Back. He's back. I don't know how all right. these minutes shake out. Again, it's preseason. But that is where I, I am wanting to see the improvement defensively. How much better right. are we going to be? And as you mentioned, we like the guy because we, we saw it last year. We, we know we sit courtside a couple of times. We're lucky enough. And he, he's got, you know, he's got, he's a stud. I mean, physically, he looks he like is. everything you'd want from that sort of small slash, you know, power forward. So if he just gets a little more, if, if Snyder can squeeze more consistency out of him, then all of a sudden you're starting five. If DeAndre plays better, all of a sudden you got something going. Who'd you say? DeAndre Hunter. Oh, DeAndre, yeah, DeAndre, yeah, DeAndre Hunter, yeah. <laughs> so looking for consistency on, while the D. younger guys, while the younger guys develop, and you know, and some guys. And we're gonna. By the way, we're gonna talk plenty more Phillies as we lead up to first pitch. But I mean, it's it's cool to catch up with Sadiq. He's one of our guys. But yeah, I mean, look, Trey's never gonna be an elite defender, but just kind of like what he was doing in the at the end of the season, you know, just being disruptive and 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 doing what you can. Steals, and, yeah. at, at least, exactly. Yeah, getting your hands on balls and, and, and stealing uh, the ball away. All those things, man. Playing the passing lanes.